Hello everyone, today we're going to look at the best extensions for web browser that I use as a professional web developer. All of extensions will be linked down below in the description. I also made sure that I found all alternatives for other browsers as well, so make sure to check the description. If you are new on my channel, thanks for stopping by and consider leaving a like or subscribe if you like the content. I will be also happy to reply to any questions you guys may have, so don't hesitate to participate down in comment section. Now let's start with our video. For number one is probably the most obvious one, which is not specific for web developers only, but it can also be used in different ways you probably didn't think about. This is the one and only ad blocker. As most of you prob probably already know, the ad blocker extension is used to block ads on all web pages, including YouTube. But besides blocking ads, ad blocker can block any content you want. So if you're trying to have a productive day of learning a new programming language, for example, it can be really pain in the butt, uh, the one cat video that you would rather, rather watch. And here, uh, here is what Adblocker brings to the table. It allows you to select anything, any section you want on a specific web page and remove it permanently. So as you can see, this is my YouTube, uh, YouTube uh, profile and this is my uh, recommendation section and I want to remove it. So I will click on my ad blocker extension and go to hide something on this page. And now I can simply select the section I want. So I want to remove the whole recommendation section. Don't, don't be afraid if the page looks corrupted, just click on looks good and it will fix itself and now block it and done. And as you can see, the YouTube web application stays normal except for the recommendation section, which is uh, deleted. And if you click refresh, the recommendation section is being removed every, every single time you go on youtube.com. So now if you want to search for some uh, productive videos, you can go to your favorite uh, YouTube channel and you can still search on YouTube. So next up is Grease Monkey or also known as Stamper Monkey, which is more extendable version of an ad blocker. It allows you to run custom JavaScript on predefined domain names. So unlike the ad blocker for this one, you will need some, uh, some knowledge of JavaScript, but not a lot. So for this example, I will disable my ad blocker. So undo my hidden items. Okay. So my recommendation section come, comes back in. And now I will go to my temper monkey extension and I will go to create a new script. Now I can run any JavaScript I want on this specific uh, URL. So I want so again I will want to remove uh, remove this uh, uh, recommendation section and I want to display myself a message each time I want to go to YouTube. So I want to select my recommendation settings um, or my recommendation section. So I have to check in my uh, developer tools how the how is the div uh, that includes the recommendation section called so I'll click on the selector here and just select recommendation section and as you can see it's it, it has id primary so it will be easy to select i can close my developer settings now and go to my temper monkey script and just select id uh, deal with id primary So I will document get element by ID and here I will type primary. And now I want to replace its content with a message. So dot inner HTML. And here, here I will write like a heading, like heading two. Close it and give it a color. So I'll, it will be really visible probably a text mm, line and here you can uh, set a ma any message you want like this okay now you go to file save and as you can see our script is enabled enabled and it will run on uh, youtube.com so now if I go to YouTube and refresh, 
you will see the our script is run and we, it displayed uh, it displays a message that we set in our temper monkey so you can play around with that this is not the only thing you can do with temper monkey it can do much much more but this is the really simple thing that another interesting extension that you will love is webalyzer which shows you which technologies are used on specific web page that, that way you can exit wordpress website as soon as possible so as you can see this is the icon of uh, webalyzer and if you click on it you can you can find all the technologies that are used on specific web page you can also click on the specific technology and and it gets uh, web, to the webalyzer web page and you can see which uh, popular websites are using this technology and you can also click on on the website and webalyzer will automatically detect which technologies is being used on that website so this is a really nice thing you will probably need Amazing, amazing extension for web developers working a lot of, with CSS and design is Color Picker, which allows you to pick any color inside your browser. This way you can easily figure it out which color scheme specific website is using. So for example, if you go to amazon.com and you can see this uh, yellowish or orange color and you don't know which is the uh, which is the hex code for this color. You, you could go to inspect element and then search for that color, but the easiest, easiest way is to just click on color picker extension and just go like this. And you can see, you can search the color by pixel by pixel and just click on it. And automatically you can copy the hex color or the RGB uh, style of uh, color. So this is the nice, nice thing for front end developers. Then for the backend developers, we have extension for editing and viewing cookies, cookie editor. Cookie editor is really useful when you're developing a login system or something similar where you might use cookie tokens, which can be easily accessed via cookie editor. So give it a shot. As you can see here, it's, it has obviously an icon of a cookie. And if you click on it, you can see all cookies that Amazon saves about you. So here you can see a session two keys, session ID time, session ID. And when you're viewing cookies of some other site that you did, didn't build yourself, you probably won't understand what those cookies do. But if you're uh, working on your, on your website and you're probably setting cookies, you can delete cookie and check for the login system if it works correctly. Next one solves the problem of some of some moron sending you image of text instead of text itself. This is copy fish, which converts image to text. I think you have the idea of how many ways this can be useful. So uh, for example, I think this is, yeah, this is image and you want to copy this text. As you can see, you cannot. And here, uh, here is the case when copy fish comes in. You just click on this icon and just select uh, the text on the image you want to uh, you want to copy and as you can see it will convert to text and you can easily copy your your text the next one we have is seo analyzer so if you don't know what seo is it's search engine optimization so when you build your website you want to uh, to be ranked as uh, at the top of the google results as possible so here here is the uh, example where SEO analyzer comes uh, comes handy. As you can see, you just click on the website you're browsing and it will show you the score of your SEO um, SEO score, SEO friendly website. So as you can see, Amazon is not the best, but uh, still it will show you the things you have to improve, errors that maybe occur and, uh, and things that are correctly implemented. As you can see, when you found an error, it also, um, you can also to click to extend and it, uh, it has a description, detailed description and links to useful uh, blogs that can help you uh, fix that error on your web page. So give it a shot. It has a lot of useful information. It will probably, um, it will probably ex exponentially uh, help your website to be, uh, to be ranked as at the, at the top of the Google results as possible. So give it a, give it a go.
So that was the last extension I had prepared for this video. I hope, I hope you guys uh, like those. If you want to see more extensions that I use in every day, I'll be happy, I will be happy to create a part two of that video. But until then, I will hope you enjoy it. And uh, if you like the content, don't forget to click that button with the thumb. And I will see you guys next time.